Oops, wrong one. Hey! <laughs> Hi, friends. Welcome to Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola, and this is my wife, Michelle, and our pug, Bruno. He wasn't going to wait this time. He really wanted to jump on uh, and say hello. Hi, Bruno. Aww, sweet. We hope you've been well. We have been we haven't been streaming much lately. Um, good news. I am feeling much better than I did last week. Uh, hey, bless you, Bruno. I hope you're not getting sick. Uh, <laughs> Want to say hi to Amanda Panda. Uh, Slackfish, uh, James, and uh, I, I like Slackfish's comment. It was Ruel the Overboss. I have seen him wear a crown before. <laughs> thanks to Michelle, of course. And hey, Bruno's going to start licking my arm just on, right on cue. Uh, there's the, uh, James, thanks for being a Bruno fan. We are all Bruno fans in this house. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so tonight, hey, Deadpan, thanks for joining us. We are so excited to be here. Again, the live streaming schedule has been sort of, we've sort of dialed it down, um, but Hopefully, I think it's going to be the start of May, we're going to start ramping things back up. So, we've got some sponsored streams. And speaking of sponsored streams, tonight is a sponsored stream. Uh, thanks to our friends at Brotherwise Games. They are sponsoring tonight's episode. Um, hi, Bruno. <laughs> Bruno's in a funny mood today. Oh, wow. He's, he's jumping all over the place. Bruno, you okay? I think he sees... Oh, he's, you know he says he sees his nemesis, uh, Benny the Bitsper over here. So, anyways, how are y'all doing? I hope you're doing well. Uh, what have y'all been playing these days? What's new? Um, we are going to be playing a fun new game called Overboss, a boss monster adventure from Brotherwise Games. Uh, if you've played the boss monster games of, game before, uh, this is um, based in that universe. Uh, it's got that whole retro, old school uh, pixel art um, video game look to it. Which I dig. This totally reminds me awesome. of the games I played back in the day. And uh, this one, instead of a card game like Boss Monster, this is a tile laying game. So Bruno is in a funky mood tonight, folks. You know, people in chat are kind of instigating things here. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Slackfish, I see, is uh, Slackfish, did he just drop uh, 100 biddies? I think he did. Uh huh. Thank you, Slackfish, and we're going to uh -oh, see. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> uh oh. Hello, friends. <laughs> Thank you, Slackfish, for spending 100 bitties. When you spend bits, ah, Bruno. When you spend bits, I make an appearance. And Bruno, hi, Bruno. <laughs> Thank you for support, friends. It's good to see you. I've been in hibernation way too long. And now Bruno is, Bruno, are you okay? Oh. Oh, you see his curly tail. Thanks for spending the bits, um, Slackfish. Folks, anytime you spend bits, Benny the Bits Bear shows up. Um, Deadpan says, yeah, Unearth is great. Yeah, I haven't played that one in a while. Um, I remember playing Unearth. It was towards the end of uh, Game Nights, I believe, before the pandemic hit. Um, I believe it was my friend Marlon had a copy. So, yeah, it was a fun, like, little dice rolling slash tile laying game, I believe. Uh, August uh, Ray, thank you for... Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining... Yeah, uh, Bruno, when he sees Benny... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he is just a so wild pug. Wild. <laughs> uh, so Penny. <laughs> oh, thank you, friends. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Bruno's in a mood tonight. Well, he's he's walking around, so we I'm sure we'll see Bruno again later. Hey, before we forget, I forgot last time. Um, well, it took me a while to remember. But hey, if you have he's stream snacks <laughs> happening, let us know what you are eating and or drinking. We're a big fan of food and drink here on the channel, folks. So let us know. I just cracked them. So I haven't actually had a LaCroix in a while. It's been about a week or so. Just trying to, you know, Holy moly. Not, not drink as uh, to Totally, like, take down the, uh, the LaCroix um, down a notch, uh, my consumption of it. So this is a treat. I have my hibiscus, which I actually burned out on recently. That might have been part of the reason why I stopped drinking. Well, after so, this, there's only two more left. Okay, and what what flavors do I have next? Is it lime? I think. I think lemon, lime, and the pamplemousse. Oh yeah, the grapefruit. Oh, I like that one. Whatever, Costco. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for redeeming the points for being Bruno fans, folks. Much appreciated. It's good to be back. It's um, yeah, the scheduling. I it, been we're down to about once a week right now, but we are ramping things back up. Um, starting in May, I got a. It's been it's been nice to recharge a little bit. Um, I'm still doing other work uh, behind the scenes, well, like writing and podcasts and all that other stuff. Um, but as far as live stream, just sort of take it down a notch. Still hosting um, good looking Kickstarters with uh, Becca Scott, 
over there on, let me <laughs> type in the link right there. Check out the latest good looking Kickstarter. Yeah, I think uh, she's a troublemaker. Oh, sorry. Do you only show your face when the Dodgers win and neck? <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah, the Dodgers lost uh, yesterday, but they won today. Yeah, that, that is right, Slackfish. Um, but hey, I don't know if y'all saw that play by Mookie. Um, the other day oh my gosh what a catch did you see it? i don't know if you're watching no i wasn't watching okay yeah so it was against the padres and um the dodgers were up uh two runs but they were it was in the bottom of the ninth it's in san diego and the padres they hit a bloop single it would have dropped in center field and it would have scored two runs so it would have been tied uh-huh. mookie just came up i mean he just run full sprint dove and caught in this uh-huh. mitt and he just like the second he caught it, he knew, like, start pounding his chest. <laughs> Game over. The Dodgers go wild. Dodger fans go wild. And San Diego fans are just, like, stunned. I was oh, like, man. Oh, wow. Yeah. Lo- I love watching Mookie play. Like, I never saw Willie Mays play. But mm-hmm. from what all the old timers say and, like, just everything you read and some of those, hi- some of the grainy highlights, he plays, like, the way Willie Mays plays. Just a, like, full out, you know, like a. Just a joy for the game. and you know. some strong words yeah. right there. You know, I mean, it doesn't hurt that he's a Dodger either. So. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> James, uh, thank you uh, for... Oh, it's uh, Robomatic. Hi, everyone. Hi. Is it Robe or Rob? Or uh, Robo or Robo. But, uh, thank you. Uh, Legends DMs in the house. Aloha, friend. Good to see you on here. Uh, Games of Fire's in the house, too. Hi, Games of Fire. I haven't seen it. I'm, I'm glad to see, it's nice to see you uh, here at Games of Fire. Good to see you here. Uh, that Mookie Betts play was amazing. Yeah, still it was just awesome. Um, again, the 2020 world champion Los Angeles Dodgers. I was going to say, didn't they win something they did. last year? They won the World Series, <laughs> folks. Uh, just like the Lakers won the NBA championship. Um, <laughs> there's, there's the meter, the counter. Uh, what's everyone eating or drinking? Uh, Michelle, what do you have for your snack I or drink? I just have um, water with lemon mm. in one of my favorite cups. It says, you're the gray to my yang. <laughs> so those of you that... Wait, where is it? There. there. <laughs> so those of you that are Grey's Anatomy's fan, Grey's Anatomy fans yeah. will get that. You got in that. You really got in that show a couple of years ago. Like... Like well, you, you, you did know, you watch it when it first you didn't watch it when it first came out, right? No. Excuse me. Just kind of when I you know, I was kinda not bedridden, but oh, I Oh, that's right. You know, when yeah. I had broken my arm and then, you know, I was going to work. So I caught up on Grey's Anatomy from like season one to I don't know, they have like a million seasons. <laughs> <laughs> so I watched them all. Yeah. And there, there it is. Uh, where, uh, did you get that when we were on vacation, or was that from your friend? No, my friend gave this to okay, me. Because cool. we, we talk about, you know, Grey's Anatomy Grace. stuff. <laughs> yeah, and McDreamy. Well, you know, that was back in the day. McDreamy. <laughs> um, Cypress says, wow, a Dodgers fan calls out comp to the quintessential Giants player, Willie Mays. Never thought I'd live to see that day. Yeah, you know, as much as I'm a diehard Dodger fan, I mean, there's just certain players no matter what sports, no matter how much of an LA fan I am, you, you got to give it up. You know, you you know, you know the players that play right. Like as a Laker fan, you know, Michael Jordan's the greatest player ever. You know, even though I love LeBron, love Kobe, love Magic, you know, Michael's still the number one. You got to give it up. You you know, it's it's all about respect. Uh, August says I was nostalgic, so I made some uh, dirt cups, which I haven't had since I was a kid, and it holds up. What is it? Dirt cups. What are dirt cups? Um, it's chocolate pudding with like crushed Oreos on top. That's called dirt cups, really? Yeah. I did not know that. Well, then you can put like whipped cream in it if you want and then put gummy worms. Oh, that's a dirt cup, folks. You learn something new. I've never heard dirt cups before. Really? Yeah. Well, I used to be a Girl Scout leader and this is one of the things that we made. Okay, okay, yeah. And also I taught third grade and that was one of the things that's that we true, made. yeah. <laughs> dirt cups, interesting. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Um, pumpkin, is it mullein tea? Ooh. What is Ooh. That, I've that's... never had that, but I love all things pumpkin. Yeah, Michelle's a big pumpkin fan, so there it is. Uh, we've been going through a shocking time. The anniversary of my husband's lost, followed by a uh, losing friend. Oh, no. I'm so sorry to hear about that, Games of Fire. This community. Oh. Yeah, this community games helped my family. Yes, yes. Oh. Sorry to hear about that, but yeah. Um, Plumping Thimble, thank you for the shout-out. Yes, the 5 by folks. If you haven't... Uh, seen it the newest latest and greatest episode came dropped last week um we're we're used we used to be a bi-weekly podcast but because of the pandemic and the bunch of the staff has been playing fewer games 
over the last year. We stepped, uh, pulled it back to a, a once a month. And we just had an episode drop in. I'm hoping now that, you know, I'm fully vaccinated. Hopefully everyone else is getting their vaccines and stuff. You know, we start getting uh, small in-person ga- games gatherings again. Um, we can start ramping up the back to our bi-weekly um, output. But we'll see how that goes. Um, but hopefully everyone's staying safe out there. If you haven't, please uh, check out the 5 by. I love it. Um, I was a fan for about a year until then they asked me to join them. I was like, of course. Um, it's five reviews of board games by five different people, and they're five minutes each. It's like, for me, the perfect time. It's 25 to 35 minutes um, and I, I love the staff there. They're, they're all just really wonderful reviewers. Uh, John Gonzalez, uh, Book of Nerds, uh, you may have seen here. He's a regular contributor as well. Um, so please check out the Five By. And if you haven't done already, BGG, their nominations um, for the Golden Geek Awards uh, close tomorrow. And I would, you know, don't, do me a favor, friends. Nominate the Five By. I just love to be nominated. I think it'd be neat uh, to have them there. Um, I know that... Uh, Mike uh, Risley, the producer, I don't know how hard he's been pushing for, but I, I would love to see it personally uh, to get nominated. I, I think the, you know, the five, I, 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 the crew, I think there is just wonderful. Um, but uh, thanks for noticing, uh, Plumpy. Uh, the five by is fantastic. Thank you, James. Much appreciated. Uh, Daryl, yes, love the podcast on Thermos. And, you know, nothing, you know, I used to listen to The Secret Cabal, like, everyone else and but three hours is a bit much for me these days for a podcast oh my attention span is not that long yeah and like i used to try to break it up but i just i felt like uh, to really appreciate that show you really do listen to it in a you know bigger chunks to get the flow and everything but i mm. every after half an hour i was just like yeah i'm just done you you've been listening to podcasts lately yeah just kind of like random ones there's one that i like and daryl will appreciate this one <laughs> Oh, okay. So this is awkward, and um, it it's just funny because they talk about awkward like money situations. Actually, they have a Twitch channel too, but I I've, oh. I've never seen their um, their broadcast. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, it's just it's funny, and just the um, the banter between the hosts is hilarious. Yeah, but. Um, well, Daryl's wife says that <laughs> you look like and you sound like the um, the male host on that show. It's, it's not me, seriously. So, <laughs> well, I don't think you sound like him. I don't think so either. Yeah. yeah. But, oh well. Yeah, but I guess it's funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's entertaining. I don't like podcasts that are too deep because again, my attention span is it's not that long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's like, and that's that's not a board game podcast. That is. Oh no, no. Uh, yeah, just, just a general. Well, they say it's, uh, you know, they'll talk about awkward money situations, mm-hmm. but they'll, they'll also talk about other things, like, you know, that are going on in their lives. And this is probably why Abby thought you, you sounded like the dude, because he likes everything you like. <laughs> everything. Star Wars. The Star Wars. He star- talks about the board Mandalorian. Um, Does he do board games? You know, I don't think he's mentioned board games, or okay. if he did, I don't remember. But, Lakers? Um, Dodgers, no. Yeah, I I think he's mentioned the L.A. teams. Okay, okay. Um, but it sounds like a good guy to me. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all should maybe do something, <laughs> some Twitch something yeah, or other crossover together. Crossover stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Slackfish is drinking an L. Smith Speedway Stout, an Imperial Stout with coffee. Oh, that sounds delicious. I again, I I know I've shared this before, where I used to like stouts back in the day. Those like Guinness, the mm. like, darker, thicker beers, and I have had one before, two different ones before with coffee in them very very good did it taste more like coffee or more like beer um both the two i tried one tasted more like coffee and the other one was more like a beer like with a scent of coffee and i actually like the coffee flavored one a little better oh. well yeah. when we did that the um world record breaker thing at santa anita oh, yeah, with the yeah. beer i mean I, you know i'm not a big beer drinker i only like sour beer yeah and we had I don't know, was it a stout <coughs> I don't know, there were, yeah. I remember there were some beers that had like an extra flavor in there yeah. that kind of, I don't know, I don't feel like they went together. <laughs> yeah, we had like, I think we sampled three or four. Yeah. So Michelle and I, if you didn't know, we used to be former uh, Guinness, uh, world record holders. I was like, I love this. <laughs> we, we were, for like a, maybe like a few months, we were world record holder, holders according to Guinness. Uh, we we were uh, at a Yelp event at San Nito Racetrack. Um not local, but it's about an hour away from us. And the event was, 
uh, they wanted to break the record for the world's biggest uh, beer tasting. So we went and we saw, you know, we saw a bunch of our Yelp buddies and a bunch of other Yelp people we didn't know. And we broke the record. It was, I think at the time we, there was like a couple of hundred of us easily, like 300 oh, or sure. 400 yeah. or whatever. So, you know, the, the Guinness world record dude or person was there. They documented, they wrote on, you know, they saw the, they count the head count and everything. And we were part of it. And, um, the, the rules were, we all had to take sips of, I think three or four different beers at the same time. So we had like a stout. We had one. It was like an orange wheat beer. I remember that. Yeah. And then there was like an IPA, which was like the bitter one. And then there was like, a, I think a Hefeweizen, which was like a, or like an orange Hefeweizen. Not orange, but like, a, I, I forget. I didn't know. Yeah. But I, I know you didn't like most of them, but you did like one of them. I think. Well, I mean, I just to taste it, to be part of the, um, you know, the thingy, the event, yeah. I, I was okay doing that but i wouldn't like go to a restaurant and order those <laughs> yeah uh Cyprus was talking about getting this uh, vaccine nice and, and it's so nice to hear people getting vaccines um r- really folks it, we're, we're getting now i don't think it will ever be normal again it's gonna be a new normal moving on forward which i think it has to be but i'm glad that we'll be able to just, like be face to face again yeah sometime uh i was missing a podcast i mentioned before the polls close oh thank you uh robo appreciate it uh, yep, I don't. Just catching up on chat here. I'm not a fan of beer. I prefer wine or sweet cocktails, uh, Games of Fire says. Yeah, I used to be a bigger, big beer drinker. I'm more of an alcohol, um, hard liquor d- uh, dude now. We're in the presence of world record royalty. That's right. <laughs> and then the record, of course, a couple of months later was, like, smashed by, uh, I think, a club in England or something. Like, we had 400. They had, like, 1,000 and something like that. <laughs> but, hey, we, we had it for a couple of months, you know. It was good while it lasted. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Uh, being in Washington now, it's almost sacrilege. I don't like IPAs. Yeah, I do like a, a good IPA. Um, one, a local um, brewery here, they do a double mango IPA, which I absolutely love. I think it's tasty. Now, have you had the double mango at uh, Hamilton? I don't know. Yeah. If I, if I tried it at all, it was probably just a sip. Yeah. I, yeah. 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 Michelle's not, not really a beer drinker. <laughs> now we do have a sour um, beer. Uh, yeah. Brewery here called Sour Cellars, which that place I I'll try everything. Yeah. Well, there was a one thing where um I don't know we tried a beer and they had some kind of green magic stuff that they put in oh, it. Oh yeah. And it, the beer ended up tasting like a Jolly Rancher, like a green apple Jolly Rancher. Yeah, it was like some kind of like green liqueur or something. I forgot what it was. But I'm calling it green magic. Green magic, folks. There it is. Uh, Cypher says, being at San Nino event is why we can believe in your testament for a long time. <laughs> I'm perplexed. Yeah, that's right, Slackfish. Uh, Michael's got his first uh, dose. Very nice. Arm is so sore. Yeah. You know what's funny? My arm the after the first dose was way more sore than the second dose. I had the second dose on Friday. I have a, like a little soreness here, but I feel like I was a little more sluggish after the second dose, but... I mean, thankfully, I haven't been hit as hard for the second dose as I was, I think, the first. Or You I were hitting pretty hard the second The right? second time, yeah. And then I ended up getting, like, a big... It wasn't a welt, but, you know, like, oh, yeah. if you get, like, um, bitten by a mosquito, how your skin turns red? It was, like, a big round thing on my arm for, I'm going to say, maybe at least four days. Yeah. I mean, yeah, obviously, I it, it went away. And yeah. it didn't hurt or anything, but I was kind of like, is this okay yeah i mean i'm having is this a bad reaction yeah i'm not sure yeah it was there for a couple of days i remember that but i mean thankfully everything's okay yeah uh plumpy is gonna get his second uh dose on may 4th nice so there's a much more significant reaction in second shot yeah Yeah. you know i've heard that a lot uh so very wrong about games canada can finally do 40 plus year olds can't wait nice awesome uh so very wrong about games it's um I know we U.S. We've been very fortunate that it's rolled out relatively quickly. I mean, I don't want to get going on the last administration, but this administration yeah, yeah. is definitely a, a lot more um, on top of things. One thing that I feel like I don't know. I I heard. I mean, people were saying that if you like do this to your arm after the second shot, it, it just I don't know if it stretched it out or just made it feel better. But I was doing this a lot, and I was like, yeah, yeah, pretty much oh, every you're day. Not doing I that. Okay. Like, Pump your fist in the air. <laughs> Show me that you just don't care. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's uh, Even though it was sore, it wasn't as sore as the uh, first one. Uh, Man- Panda is fully vaccinated, yes. Uh, she does say the second dose was way mm-hmm. worse for her, though, yeah. 
US is, US is currently 40% with at least one dose. That, that's, I love hearing those numbers. It's so nice to hear those numbers, folks. Keep getting those vaccines, folks, and, you know, we're, we're going to get there. We're going to be able to... We're, we're trying to target next year Dice Tower West. Um, I've already committed to, like, no conventions this year. I just don't feel like it's going to be safe enough. I, I, even if it is, uh, I'm, I know there's going to be protocols and protocols and new regulations and stuff, but I'd rather just wait until next year. Yeah, I mean, just on the news, they keep talking about variants and yeah. you're just from different countries and... You know, I'm like, that doesn't make me feel safe. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, uh, I, I, I know some people redeemed some Bruno points earlier, so there's a walk. Thank you, friends. Thank you for walking our pug, Bruno. And also, you know, since we got it, why don't we do all the Bruno things here? We've got oh, Bruno getting a treat. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, our favorite, Bruno doing his trick. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno dog. Um, oh, I still got the music going on here. Oh, oh yeah. Fluffy, thank you for being a Bruno fan. Folks, we are excited to be playing Overboss, a boss venture, uh, boss, a boss monster adventure. Uh, that's it. This is a game by uh, Aaron Mesburn and also Kevin uh, Russo. Kevin Russo, or Kevin Russ, sorry. Kevin Russ, you may recognize the na name. Uh, he was the designer of Calico. And so I would put over, over bosses like it's a little I, it's lighter than Calico because mm -hmm. Calico made my brain burn, but Overboss is neat. It's more of a gateway, but there are options to make it a little more. Um, I guess have a little more depth, which I like. Um, let's get to the game, shall we? I'm gonna bring this over here. Yes, there we are. Overboss from <coughs> Brotherwise Games. Um, oh, Slackfish says I've never been to a convention, but my Twitch friends have talked to Dice Tower West so much. I would definitely consider 2022 Dice Tower West. At least I feel like I would find a bunch of friends there. For sure. Slackfish, yes. That would be awesome. I would love to see Slackfish. Hi, GB Glazer, GB Glazer, James. If y'all can do it, again, it's, you know, I know for those who are coming out of state or whatever. And it's not, I mean, conventions aren't cheap. So if it's if it's within your budget, I would highly recommend it. Um, Michelle and I had a wonderful time last year. And... Um, you know, now that there's a bunch of Twitch streamers that are going to be there, I think it's going to be a neat little thing. And who knows? Maybe we'll have a little TLN. TLN <laughs> yeah, a little TLN thing happening. Tabletop Live Network. Speaking of TLN, uh, next is it this weekend? Yeah, this weekend, this Saturday, what? we've got a big event, folks. Yeah, already. You believe that? TLN is this weekend, folks. Um, <laughs> go to the website, check out the info there. Did I do the little command right? I don't know if I did. TLN. Uh, Rob, uh, community manager for Brotherwise Games. Oh, okay, thanks, Rob. Uh, yeah, uh, sour beers are the best, he says. Oh, yeah. my people! Yeah. Uh, Slackfish has got the odds going pregame. I'm thinking that this is a game that favors Michelle. I'm saying two to one of Michelle. Would say. <laughs> Always happy to have the odds laid out, folks. And as uh, Han Solo once said, and never tell me the odds. Uh, let's take a look at the game. Uh, this is a time. <laughs> Did you want to add to uh, Slackfish's uh, prediction? No, I'm just going to sit here in my glory. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a tile laying game. Uh, Michelle and I, we're playing the advanced uh, variant. There's a couple of variants. So the basic game is here. Oops. And you'll notice here, the, it's just a smaller board. Uh, it's a 4x3. We're going to be playing on the 4x4. Um, this is called your layer. Uh, for the advanced side, your layer is just going to be off to the side. Um, what you do on your turn, very simple, folks. Uh, why don't I do this here first? Um, wait, you're going to do... Wait. Oh, what's up? Got a recommendation for a sour beer Ooh, okay. in uh, Seattle. Oh, is that a recommendation? I'd recommend brewers for sour... Fa oh, thank you, Slackfish. We need to get back up to Seattle ASAP. Uh, yes. <laughs> so how to play the game. Uh, <coughs> we are going to play until we have filled out um, our uh, boards here. Uh, we are... The dungeon um, bosses, the bosses of uh, the sort of like a retro, uh, retro inspired uh, pixel art world oh. here, and what we're doing is drafting and placing tiles. Uh, so we're gonna there's the market here. You're gonna see the four tiles, and then each tile has also been these are all random uh, from the little bag we've added tokens. And what you do is you're gonna grab one pair. So on your turn, you just draft one pair. So let's say I take this one. And I immediately take this, and if possible, I place the token on top of the tile I have just placed. 
Uh, you notice here in the rules, uh, take one tile and token pair from the market. And then you place, select an open square anywhere on your map, the grid side of your board. Place the terrain tile on that square. Next, place your tokens. Now, as tokens are di placed differently depending on their types. So what I just did was I put a monster um, here. Uh, so monsters and mini bosses must be placed on an open terrain tile if one is available. Uh, dungeon tiles. Um, here's a dungeon tile right here. Dungeon tiles may not hold any tokens. So what you do is when you grab a dungeon tile, um, you're going to place um, your uh, that monster or the token that's drafted with it in your layer, which is just off to the side of the board. You'll have hopefully you'll have opportunities to place them later. And uh, there are also oh, those are dungeon tiles. You also have crystals and portals. The crystals are going to give you bonus points depending on which color uh, that you have. So if you have, you know, there's going to be, oh, here's a crystal right here. Uh, let me show this. Uh, whoops. Where is this? <laughs> it's invisible. It is invisible. Why is this not working? There it is. It's just really small. Oh, it's really small. Here, I'll do a different one. You can see it a little better. Oh, you know, I'll take this off too. So here's a, one of the tokens here, right? So this is a monster token, um, and then this crystal one, which is sort of hard to see, but, oh no, that's not a crystal. That was the wrong one. That's another monster. I'll just grab one out of the bag here. Okay, while you're doing that, Slackfish says, if you're ever in Seattle, I'd recommend Brewers, and then if you're in town, let me know, and dinner's on me. Oh. Thank you in advance. Thank you. We loved going up to Washington. That was so fun. Best time when ever. When we did our, our road trip up the coast. Yeah. Thanks, Slackfish. Okay, here's the other token. So here's a mini boss. You put your mini boss, it's going to be worth two points at the end of the game. Uh, this is a portal. Uh, this portal is going to allow you at any time uh, on your turn, you're going to um, spend it basically to move uh, tokens around on your board. That looks like a portal, like when you put it over there. Yeah. Because it's like empty in the middle. <laughs> yeah. So it is actually, there's actually like a little uh, fire or something in the middle. And then you flip it over, this side looks the same, but... Uh, that's been used and finally you have uh, this is the um, crystal. Was crystal that we we're talking about so in this case for every camp a tile that you have you can get one point and the camp tile is this one so you're just going to match these symbols here this is a uh, camp um, then you have like, this one is a forest <laughs> uh, it's almost see through there uh, this one is from the advanced um, variant we have a summoning circle and I'll talk about these as we play the game here let me throw some of these tokens back in the bag I had a long day, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, so we looked at those crystal and portals. Then your turn, restock all empty tiles and tokens. So every uh, each player, each of us, will always have four to choose from. Okay. And then at the end of the game, we go until all 16 squares are um, filled, and then we score. So we have the basic tiles. We are playing with a dungeon. A dungeon um, has a base value of one point. And then for the different types of terrain that border it, uh, you're going to get another point, uh, so a maximum five points. Uh, forests are based on the number total number of forests in your map. So if you have one forest, it's worth one point. Two forests worth three, and so forth. Are we playing with graveyards? I think we we randomly swapped one out. Um, I don't know if graveyards is no. I think we took out caves. So graveyards each have a base value between one and three points, shown on the in the white circle. The boss with the most graveyard tiles uh, scores five points. Uh, second most gets three points. Uh, camps, which we have one over here, which we were just showing you, uh, scoring based on how many unique camp tiles you have on your map. Two camps of the same flag, excuse me, are not unique. Only one would be counted. So you have more uniques, you have more points. So in this case, whoops, this one here, here's this flag. If you have a different flag, then you will have two camps um, there and you get points based on those. Uh, caves we're not playing with in this game. Swamps we are playing. Each has a base value of one point, and each has scored an additional point if it borders a watery part of the board, and an additional point if it uh, next to another swamp tile. So you notice on our uh, boards here we have water and mountains. So the mountains won't be in play this game. Uh, those are used for the caves, which we're not playing with, but the water is. So if we have swamps there, then we're going to get extra points. Um, is the swamp the only one that has water on it? Or uh, yes. Other? And uh, we also, at the end of the game, you can get points for your mini bosses, two points each, crystals, one point for that type of terrain. And portals are not worth any points, but once per turn, you may flip over a portal to reposition up to two monsters or mini bosses on your map. So those, the small tokens, you can move up to two of them. 
advanced styles. There's a bunch of advanced styles. We are playing this game with the summoning circles. Uh, the summoning circle is this one here. Um, each have a base value of one point. When you place a summoning circle, you may immediately exchange either a token placed on top of it or a token bordering it with one from the market. So something on here, you're going to be able to exchange over here. And finally, scoring monster tokens. This is the neat part, folks. This is where each straight line of two, three, or four of the same monster type is called a band. Bands are scored according to the size of the band as indicated to the table at right. So if you have, like, let's say, three of these, um, what is this one? Three of these swamp ones, three um, mo swamp monsters in a row, you are going to score five points. Okay? And that's for rows and columns. Um, matching monsters. If a monster matches their terrain type, you'll get an additional point. So you'll see here that you have to take the pair um, that's over here, right? So like I have, if I took this forest one, I have to place the swamp monster on it. Later on, if I get a portal, maybe I can swap this one and put a, a tree or a forest monster there, and that would give me an additional point, okay? So that's what the portals are good for. And that's the game. We just play until it's all filled up, and then most points wins. Um, we have a little score sheet here, which Michelle and I will fill in afterwards. I want to thank you all again for hanging out. Michelle, any questions before we go? Um, no, but okay. Robomatic says, yeah, King Domino, Calico, both fantastic games to recommend if you like Overboss. Ooh, yeah. This one we did not know. One thing I'd like to remind players is for dungeon, a second dungeon touching it does count as a unique terrain. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, that's good to know. You want to skip this with it? Oh, sure. Okay. Why that play? Hi, thanks for joining us. Have to leave for work in 50 minutes, but want to stop by. I appreciate you stopping by. Why that play? We've got Overboss happening tonight. We've got Robomatic in the house from Brotherwise Games. Uh, Slackfish is also running to uh, King Domino. Yeah. You know what this makes me think of? The Romsberger Minecraft game. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, if you're in Seattle, oh, okay, yeah, we talked about that. It's so nice of you, Cyclist. So appreciate it. I don't want to run over Bruno. Oh, oh that's okay. Then. No worries. Um, so here we are. Here's the market. And, oh, we also have, folks, we also have these secret cards. I'm going to show one that has is not in play. Uh, we This is also part of the advanced variant. Um, we have boss cards. So the boss cards, what they do is these are secret. They give you a special ability, one-time ability. When you use it, you flip it over and say, hey, I'm going to use my ability. And then they also give you a special boring, uh, scoring bonus at the end. So for this one, a uh, little Explodo here. Um, <laughs> he could have destroyed three tokens on your map, and then you draft um, all the tiles that are on the market and replace them. And then they get a bonus for scoring each band on your map that includes no matching monsters. That ex that's Explodo. There's a bunch of them. I don't know how many there are, but there's just a bunch of cards here that you can play with. Uh, another variant that's... This one we are not using. We're not using the command cards. Uh, command cards give you extra things to do. So in this case, like the Overthrow, the Intimidate, and so forth. What this does is if you have tiles that match this shape, you get to do a special ability. Uh, these are a little more take that, so you can mess with not only your own map, but with your opponents. Uh, we're not playing with them tonight. We're going to do the other advanced stuff with the board and the boss monster. Um, but um, that's another thing that you could add to the game. All right. So, Michelle, would you like to go first? Um, sure. Okay. I had to remind myself of what my overboss card you know, said. I'm going to, yeah, let's see. Okay. Um, oh, okay. I like this one. Okay, so I'm going to take this dungeon and th this, no, what is that? A little dragon, it looks like. Yeah, the forest monster. Forest monster. Okay. Okay, yeah, and you just immediately ref refill, folks, and grab a token from the bag, and that's it. Ooh, You're welcome. Thank <laughs> you, I like that one. Okay, I am going to grab the swamp and... This crystal, so the crystal doesn't actually go on here. It's going to go in my layer, which is off the board. And I, I do want this next to water, so I'm going to put this right here. And I refill. There's a summoning circle. And a token is a graveyard monster. Okay, I've already forgotten. No, no worries. Summoning circle, what yeah. happens with that one? The summoning circle, it has it's worth one point. Okay. And then when you place it on your map, you may immediately exchange the token you placed on it or a token bordering it with one from here. And do you have to do that, like, 
immediately? Um, I believe so. Let's okay. see. It says um, when you place, you may immediately exchange a token placed on it or a token bordering it with okay. one from the market. Yeah. I don't think that's going to do me much good right now. Yep. Um, okay, so this would have to match that if mm -hmm. I get it. Okay. Yep. Um, I'll just take this. Okay. And while we're playing, folks, let us know um, what your favorite tile laying games are. I know we, uh, we're big fans of Calico and uh, Kohaku recently was a big big winner in our household. Ooh. Which one was Kohaku? The one with the super nice acrylic tiles with uh, the fish. Ah, the fish. Yeah. <laughs> Panda, dwarf. <laughs> Everyone's playing dwarf romantic. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to take this one, the forest. I'll put the forest over here in the corner. And the forest is going to get a um, swamp monster. Oh. This. Oh, portal. And that does not need to be used immediately if you take it, Correct. right? Correct. The portal will just go off to the side of your board and you can use it on any time in, on that turn or future turn. Hmm. I like that portal. I'm mm -hmm. going to take this. Oh, yeah. Cypher's talking about Cascadia. That one looks so good. Oh, man. I want to put this one next to water. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll just put this one here. Oh, so oh. the portal will come off. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so at least you got that next to the water. Ooh, is that another water one? Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. And it is a summoning. So I am going to take this water, and it's a summoning monster that goes there. I'll draw off this one, change it up. Whoops. Another forest. And another oh. portal. Lucky. Oh. You're Should welcome. Should I? Because I kind of need another dialogue. <laughs> Games um. of Fire, have a great day. Please take care of yourself. Thank you for stopping by. Okay. Um, well, you know, I'm going to take this because I also like that portal. Yeah, Michelle with the two portals. She's ready to start okay. moving some tiles soon. Another forest. Okay. What's up with all the forests? I don't know, They're but all... I'm taking that because it has a... Um, no, you're welcome. Gem, thank you. So the forest, they don't have to touch each other, so I'm going to put the forest right there. Okay. Draw a new one. Kev Meeple, yeah, being from the Pacific Northwest, pretty much the required to get Cascadia. <laughs> okay. Brotherwise, hi, Ruel, Michelle. This is Johnny from Brotherwise. Thank you for stopping by, Johnny. Much appreciated. Okay. Oh, I was going to take something from there. Okay. Um, I will take. What, is, uh, what does this mean again? Oh, yeah. Let's uh, take a look. The summoning circle uh, each has a... So it's worth one point. Uh -huh. And when you place it on your map, you may immediately exchange a token placed on top of it or a token bordering it with one from the market. Oh, maybe I should have played that one earlier. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi, sweet boy. <laughs> Bruno's okay. making an appearance. Well, I don't know. He may be making an appearance Hi, soon. Hi, sweet boy. Hey, Bruno. Okay. Our pug Bruno, folks. You're just joining us. Um, I think I will take this. I'm going to throw on some music. Let us know if it's too loud, folks, and I will and turn wait, it down. Do I have to do this action immediately? I think you answered that before. Yeah, so you I place do. it, and then, yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I don't want that one, then. Because, actually, I do want this. So we're going to do this. Okay, and can I use my portal now, or do I have oh, to wait? So when you place that summoning circle, uh -huh. you can exchange this one, or any of these. It's when you place the tile. Oh, yeah. okay, so... So just, yeah, so can... you can totally use, like swap those out if you want. Yeah, I, I want. <laughs> nice. Okay. And of course, you could use the portal if you want right now. You have two of them. Um... Yes, I will use a portal okay. to move this one over here. Nice. Good turn. Okay. Games Fire says, before I run, I'm going to brag on my daughter, um, Michaela. She was just promoted a business manager of a local community center. Hey, congrats. Wow. She is now full-time with benefits while only 20, 
That is awesome, Games of Fire. Kudos to you. Congrats. Excellent. That Making is a great. difference in the world. Yes. Oh, uh, Brotherwise, only ones orthogonally adjacent. So, oh. so Also, this, I couldn't do this one. Yeah. Okay, but I could have used my portal, portal for portal. that. Yep. Okay. Well, then let me move this one back. Okay. And we'll just say use the portal for that. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. Is that, is that legal? Yep. Okay. Yeah, portals you can use for anything, I believe. Uh... Okay. Okay, so, uh, you know, what I replaced it with. <laughs> same, same. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go with... I, I'm going to go to the forest. I've got two of them there. I now have three. And I do have a swamp monster there. Hoping to get... Oh, the dungeons don't get tokens. They're the only terrain type where that's the case. Right. So this one... So can I move it? <laughs> so that one's going to be off the board. This one? Yeah. Once, but uh, then when can I put it on? Um, I believe you can use a portal for that. Let's see. Portals are... Oh. Portals are not worth any points. Once per day, you may use a portal to reposition up to two monsters or mini... Oh, it has to be repositioned. Okay, but um, if you draft a dungeon, like the one on my map, um, you put the monster on any open slot. Oh, So you don't okay. need to use a portal on that one. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to put it here. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks, Brotherwise. Okay. Um, I will take the... Uh, no. Brotherwise, no, no. We, we appreciate the real-time rules, Lauren. This is the way, best way to learn the game for us and for um, people viewing. So thank you. Okay. Um, and folks, uh, if you do have questions, drop them in chat. Do I want another summoning circle? I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. I'll put this here. Okay. Graveyard. So the graveyard is worth one point. This one's worth one point, And then whoever has the most graveyards gets an additional five points. So. Hmm. Do I want <laughs> Slackfish says that Brotherwise Games, you're saving me a whole lot of typing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Slackfish is our, our unofficial our, rules yeah. lawyer. <laughs> you know, I'm going to take the swamp. I want the swamp to go here, touching another swamp. And there's a graveyard. What kind of monster do you get? You get, oh, a mini boss. So that's going to be worth two points at the end of the game. Oh. I like that. Yep. Because I can put the graveyard here, but my mini boss stays. No, the no, mini boss does go on. There. It does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Right. Oh, wow. A lot of the Oh, I stuff. totally forgot. <laughs> no, you're good. So maybe. I'm plotting my next move. Okay. Maybe I do want to move this one. So I've got two, uh, there, there. Okay, I am going to get this summoning circle here. Place it here. So I placed it. Now I get to move, exchange a token with one from the map. Or from the market. Oh man, let's stop. You know, I don't want to do this, do I? No. I should have waited until something better came along. And I could have traded like this one for. There's no trees. These are all camps. So. Oh well. There is a forest. Okay. Why not play? Hey, thanks for stopping by. Super appreciate it. Have a great day. Okay. Um. I think I'm gonna take these two. Um, I'll put that bad boy right there. All right. And can I use my yeah, you can use your portal? portal. Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to switch these bad boys right here. Okay. Cool, cool. Now I am going to go with... I want this camp 
of the forest. So I need different flags. So I'm going to put this one here in the middle. So with this one, do your um, forests have to be touching? Nope. Anywhere on the map. There's a forest monster, and the tile is a camp. Oh. Wow. Okay, so that means that all the ones surrounding it have to be different. That oh, right? no, that's the dungeon. Dungeon is all the ones around Oh. It. This is a camp, so you look at the flags, <gasps> oh, the different right, flags. That's right. okay. And I just realized I haven't been paying attention to the monster tokens. I need to get those in a row that are the same. I don't have any of those. There's yet. so many things to pay attention yeah, to. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Oh, my gosh. Uh, remember, on so many circles, you can exchange a token place on top of it. Boring orthogonal adjacent with any token in the market. So Ruel could get a witch on that open swamp or a cobalt on the open forest. Oh. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Okay, I'm paying yeah. too much attention to your business. Okay. Okay, I am going to take. Oh, what am I going to take? I think I'm going to take this. Um, and we'll put this bad boy right here. Ooh, another swamp. Oh, I totally forgot to replace. <laughs> no, you're good. It's all good. Okay, how can I... Oh, okay, so I can do that swamp there. So if I do this swamp here... I have a, I think it's the witch is, I don't know which monster is up here. Then I have two here in a row, and then the uh, two monsters in a row that are going to get me a band. And then I have four swamps here that's going to get extra points. What are you, you going to call your band? My band of, um, I don't what know what. What are you going to call them? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to call them um, uh, Metallica. <laughs> Okay, so here's another dungeon, and it has a graveyard monster, a zombie, I believe. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put it... Somewhere. Now remember, the, uh, the monster will not go on the dungeon. Okay, and I can put the monster wherever? Yeah. And the dungeons want the four different tiles around it. Okay. Nice. Um... Yeah, uh, I guess there's only one place to put it. Yep. Okay. Cool, cool. Look, I remember. All right. Hey, there's another dungeon. Puppy Dumble, who we're rooting for? I will let y'all decide. Hey, there's a dungeon and a portal, which I definitely want to get. I want... <laughs> like, ready to slap your hand. <laughs> yeah, you don't get in that dungeon and that portal. Because what I'm going to do is put the dungeon... Um, I'll put it here. And I'm definitely using the portal immediately, so I flip it over to use it. And I'm going to swap this one with this one here. So not only do I match, but now I have one, two, three in a row in, in this band of, uh, what did I call it, Metallica? Yes. Metallica, <laughs> Metallica the, uh, the band of uh, witches or whatever. Okay. Metallica so. part two? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Got this business here. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't know what to take. Okay. So if I take this one or that one, mm -hmm. then I can switch any of these, the smaller tiles for something here, correct? Correct. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Wicked me. Metallica. Nice. <laughs> Is that going to help me? Is that going to... No. Wait. Oh. Okay. This is a lot thinkier than it looks. Yeah, I like, that's why I like it. I feel like this is a little more accessible than Calico. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But... There's enough here that I think, I mean, it's, it's so okay, good. That's not hey, we've got a prediction, folks. So win channel points if you make a correct prediction. Thanks for doing that, Amanda. <laughs> All the stuff I have no idea how to do. Thanks for... Uh, when did that happen? Yeah, <laughs> it's been a while. Channel points. Who will win? Ruel or Michelle? Oh. 
Okay. Um, I guess I will take, no, yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna do these. Okay. And I can put them right next to each other. Yeah. Okay. So we got graveyard. Graveyard. Ooh, and a mini boss. I think I want the camp. Yeah. This is camp. I get. To, this is a different flag from the one I have, so that'll give me a few more points. Um, I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, so that means it, for each different flag you have of the camp, of yeah. the different camps, you get that many. Yeah. Points. So I have, okay, gotcha. I have two different flags, so it'll be four, four points. Total. Okay, yep. gotcha. <laughs> a lot of money on you, so <laughs> or a lot of channel points. <laughs> I'm trying, Slackfish. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, man, so much pressure. <laughs> okay, so if I take this one. I'm gonna put it here. No, actually, I think I'm gonna put it up here in the corner. Mm -hmm. And so I have to take this and then I switch it? Is then that... you may, yes. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> now there's pressure! <laughs> um, you know, I'm just gonna take that one. Yeah, mini boss. Okay. So the mini boss will go on that tile and it's worth oh, two points at the end. Okay. Yep. Now you could put that mini boss somewhere else if you'd like to. Is it gonna make a difference? Uh, what well, you would do? Well, everything else is taken except the dungeons, and we don't put things there, right? Yeah, you don't put things on dungeons, but um, like that mini boss, if you wanted to, like, yeah. So that token, what was the token that was on the? Um... It was, it was that it was... one, right? Yeah. So that would have gone on your summoning circle and then you can uh -huh. change out something else. But... Oh, really? Yeah. I, I kind of want to do that. Okay. Okay, so. So the mini. But then I don't get the mini boss then, is that right? Right. Oh, well, I want the mini boss. Okay. So never mind. <laughs> well, you could get the mini boss. It would just, if you want to place it somewhere else, that's all I was saying. I think that's, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're good, right? Um, what was the thing that you placed? So basically, anything that you place on that tile, uh -huh. you can then switch either that one or any one of the... Um, oh, actually, no, if you place it there, you can't because it's not ortho nothing's orthogonally adjacent. Okay. <laughs> I, I got confused. So what is the rule then? So, so let's say okay. you placed it here. You may then exchange... So this token was actually this one. Uh -huh. You may now exchange this one for this, or this one for this. Oh. Okay. But if you chose to put it here, then there's nothing bordering it. Okay. So this would just go on top like that. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Well, you know what, though? Nature is calling. <laughs> oh, okay. So. Yeah, yeah. Nature's calling, folks. So Michelle's going to take a quick break. Thanks for hanging out, Lizzie. Yeah, keep those predictions coming in. I want to see how many points I don't have. Uh, <laughs> Brother Wise says graveyards have different base point values, one, two, or three. So when a three point value tile pops up, it's a hot commodity. Yeah. So this one, graveyard, and there it is, folks, three pointer. Um, I'm wondering if. So it's my turn. Michelle's taking her break. Do I try? Oh, no. I've already closed up my uh, swamps there. Yeah, I really wanted to. I, I, I wasn't paying attention to that. So. If I get the graveyard here, not only is it worth three points, but then I also have a matching tile, which would be nice. I don't have any other graveyards here. I sort of want this camp, though, because it's a third different flag, which bumps me up to nine points. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do I want the nine, or do I want the three? And Michelle's already got a graveyard, so she might get that five-point bonus. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Pumpy Philippe Ruel, please uh, financially ruin if you lose. <laughs> uh, Plumpy Thimble, you may uh, maybe time to uh, talk to your local loan shark and 
Uh, we mark those with little ghosts so they're easier to know. So thanks for what, yeah, yeah. I, where's the little, yeah, right here is it? There's that. Um, <laughs> just got home, glad I got to see your shoe. Hi Henry, thanks for joining us. Yeah, I'm thinking the camp, folks. Uh, <laughs> that camp takes Metallica to seven points too. Oh, that's right. Wait a second, no. The camp, yeah, it gets me to nine. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I've been talking in chat, I'm gonna take the camp with the swamp monster, the witch, I'm gonna place it here. Now, Brother Wise was me uh, mentioning that the graveyards, there are all one, two, or three points. You have a two-pointer right now. Uh, he said that the threes are the highest, so it's a pretty hot commodity. And so you would get three points. Then if you have the most, you get an additional five points. So what is, okay, so this one has a number two and this one has a number one. So what so does that mean? Those are just points. So you got two points oh, for that okay. one. But yeah, you're crushing it right now with the gray graveyard. So you're, I feel like you're going to get that five point bonus. Oh, you think? I think so, because I don't have any graveyards here. Huh. But I also really like that camp. Barry, oh. thanks for joining us. Yeah, I'm happy to be here, friend. Good to see you on here. Um, like Brother White says you can put that witch on any open tile. But this, this little one? Oh, is that the one I just placed? That one right no, there. no, yeah. Uh, that's the beauty of leaving a couple of tiles open thanks to portals or crystals. I haven't oh, any crystals. That's right. Hey, Slackfish is gifting subs. Oh my gosh. Uh, Slackfish has gifted five tier one subs, folks. Friends, it's been a while since we did this, <laughs> but we do analog alerts here. Oh, there's Bruno uh, <laughs> doing his trick. Also happy. <laughs> here, uh, we'll let Bruno finish his trick. Uh, there he is. Woo! Uh, friends, we want to thank Slackfish, as always, for his support. We do analog alerts here, so we have an alert. Alert. We have five new gift subs. Thanks to our friend and supporter, Slackfish. Thank you, Slackfish. These are gifts, so please, folks, enjoy your gifts. And because they're gifts, we do the gift, 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 gift. And this is the gift hat. Thank you, Slackfish. Friends, enjoy the gift subs. Appreciate it. We're having a good time tonight. We hope you are too. Let's get back to the game. Whoop! Feel like a cheerleader. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, little dog's back. Oh, Bruno's back too. Deadpan, thanks for joining us, folks. Oh, Deadpan, you were here earlier. What am I talking sweet about? Sweet boy. Thank you. Gift, gift, oh, gift. Sweet gift. boy. Bruno's back in the house here. And Beyond Dead, is enjoying the gift sub. Thank you again, Slackfish. Um, oh, he's so cute. oh, Bruno's here. He'll, he'll make an appearance soon. So there, um, so when you get a monster, since I had open slots, does that mean I could have put this here? I believe that's correct. Uh, Slackfish says, Benny needs to say hi to Bruno. That's oh, right. Okay. Oh, Bruno heard it. Hi, Bruno sweet heard. boy. Hello, friends. I'm oh. Benny the Bits Bear. When you spend bits, I come out of hibernation. <laughs> Bruno is my nemesis. Bruno, hello. Hello, Bruno. <laughs> hello, Bruno. <laughs> this is his little nose. <laughs> Thanks, Slack. Oh. <laughs> uh, Brother Wise says yes. Okay, great. So what that means is I placed this one here, um, this camp here. Because I had an open forest, I can move this here, which is going to help me because this is now connected here. I have a little band. Oh. You can also put the witch on the upper right corner here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that might be even better. Ooh, oh, bless you, Bruno. You. I will do it here um, because it matches. I'll get a matching bonus here, and the band goes forward. Nice. There. Nice. Okay, Thanks to Brotherwise for helping me out. I think Brotherwise got um, channel points on me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now it's back to Michelle oh, and okay, Bruno. Hey, Bruno. You want me to hold it? Um, no, I got it. Yeah? Okay. Oh, he wonders. He thinks oh, treats Bruno. are in there. There's no treats in here. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't forget, you have your uh, special power. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because How I just remembered that? mine, too. I'm going to use mine next turn, I think. Okay. Um. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, sweet boy, Bruno. Brother Wise. <laughs> people, people got a lot of channel points on Michelle. And Brother's Wise, they were saying that Brother Wise should be helping both of us. <laughs> um, I am actually going to use my special power. Okay. Um, I'll share it with okay. everyone here. Oh. Yeah, oh, Michelle oh, has like King Croak. King Croak says draft twice this turn, then skip your next turn. And at the end of the game, King Croak's Michelle's going to get two points for each dungeon on her map at the end of the game. So basically, Michelle gets to take two turns right now. Okay. So I am going to take... This, yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. And that. I'm going to put this here. And I also... Oh, so can I also choose from that? Yep. So Do I want to choose from that? Yeah. Okay, hold up. Okay, so if I take this one, then I can switch oh. this with something near it. Uh, so which one do you just place right now? This one. Okay. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, you can, if you do this summoning, that's when you can swap something out. Okay. Oh, man, that's not working out in my head. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um... Excuse me. And I could swap something out with stuff over here. Correct. Okay, so I think I will take this. And if I put it... Wait, if I put it here... So this would go on top of that, right? Mm -hmm. And then I can switch it with any one of these or uh, one of those well, um you can switch that one that one or that one Oops. with any of these three okay um oh that didn't work out in my head yeah <laughs> so if you want to rewind just to be fair brother wise mentions that this graveyard here uh -huh. is worth three points and you'll be able to place a graveyard on top of it Oh, yeah, because it's got the matching symbols. Yeah. Oh, well, hey, I heard you. <laughs> it's totally listening the first yeah. time. <laughs> I, actually, you were gone when uh, he said that. Now, uh, if you want to look at that token, the um, the zombie or whatever, uh -huh. if you put it up here, it's next to another zombie, so you have a little band of zombies, so that'll be uh -huh. more points. Neat, right? Okay, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> brother wise. Now, now brother will stop meddling. <laughs> okay, so now I take my turn. Um, Why am I stuck here? My chair is stuck. Oh, it's because of your oh, armrest. Armrest. Okay. Uh, so it's my turn. I'm going to take... I think I want this because I want another camp. And I get a portal. Uh, I'm going to take this camp and put here. Uh, yeah. And then it's back to Michelle. Where's the bag? <laughs> the bag of treats? Yep. Oh, portal. Oh. Oh, do I want that? I'm sure I do. However, if I take this... Then I have Ooh, a band of zombies. Band of zombies. Okay, and then I'm going to use my boss monster, my special ability, Porcus. I don't know if you can see; it looks like a little pig. Uh, when drafting this turn, um, I can this turn's tile and token set. You may take any tile and any token from the market, so I don't have to go. I don't have to go by the pairs. I can take any. One oh, one. that's nice. Yeah, and then at the end of the game, I score a plus one for each type of monster and mini boss on my map. Each mini boss is a unique type. Okay, so I don't know how well I'm going to do on that one. But I am going to draft. Um, actually, the one. Maybe okay. I should have saved this because I could have just taken this. Actually, I'm going to take this. Oh, man. I'm gonna, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Yeah. Why do you have three open spaces and I only have one? Because uh, you took a double turn on Cream King. Oh, Crow. that's right. So with my power, I'm going to take this and this here. Wow. 
and then I am going to use my portal to move this here. I get the three in a row there. And then we refill dungeon and uh, zombie. <laughs> Invisible porcus, yeah. I like your power. Yeah, that was that was, that was nice. a good one. Yeah. Because I always see something like in the big tiles that I want, but it's not matched up with the yeah. thing, the other thing I want. Yeah. Okay, so I want this. Okay. So Michelle's done. And so I'm finish up my game. I'm going to take this forest, this thing here, this uh, water one. I'm going to put the water up here because this is open. Right there. And then my final turn graveyard with a tree, or I'll take this graveyard and graveyard monster. Okay, uh, that's the end of the game, folks. Now we're going to go to scoring. And just as a reminder, uh, we're looking at the basic tiles. We have one. We have the mini bosses. Crystals are worth not are one point for the type. Portals are worth nothing. And then we have the advanced tile, the summoning circle. Okay, those are worth one point each. So we'll go here. Let's start with um, got the handy dandy score sheet here. Yeah, there not a lot of crystals pulled. Yeah, not like last time. So let's see. We're gonna do. Uh, we'll do forest first. So let's score our forest. Um, I have one, two, three, four forests for ten points. Okay, I have two forests for three points. Okay. Uh, let's do uh, the swamps, the blue ones. So they're worth one point base, and then you get an additional point if it's near water, and then an additional point if it's uh, near another swamp tile. So I've got one here, but it's next to another one, so that's two. This is uh, this is going to be worth three. This will also be worth three, and this will be worth two. So two, four, and then plus six, ten. Okay, so this is... One plus one, then, right? Yep. Okay, so that's two, four, six. Okay. Um, and then let's see, swamps, forest. Let's do um, graveyards. I've got one graveyard worth three points. Okay, so I have three graveyards. Okay. So it's five, six points. Six points, okay. And you have more, so you get an additional five, that's 11. I had the second most, so that is uh, five total. And then we'll do camps for the different flags that you have. I have one, two, three, four different flags for nine points. Ooh, four. Yeah, so one Well, here. isn't that 16? Oh, 16, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Sorry, Slackfish. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you? Um, I have three so that is nine points nice and then so forests swamps graveyards um, um, caves no whoops, what was the sea oh camps oh uh, summoning uh, summon so these are worth one point each I have two of them okay I also have two okay and then dungeons I have one dungeon it's surrounded by one two three different types so four points total okay I have Three dungeons. Dang, you got three dungeons? Okay, so this one is surrounded by three different ones. So that's four. Okay. This one is surrounded by four different ones. So five, nine. And this one is also surrounded by three different ones. Uh, four, 13. Dang. Heavy on the dungeons. Okay, so we're going to add up the tile scores. I have 20, 36, wait, 20, 25, maybe I should do this later, 20, 36, 41, 45, 47, Michelle has 9, 20, 29, 31, uh, 44 so far. Okay, now we go to the tiles. Mini bosses. I have no mini bosses. Okay, so I have one. Okay, so zero for me, two for Michelle. Crystals. I have two different crystals. Uh, one for camps, one for trees. 
So I have one, two, three, four, and then trees, one, two, three, four. So eight points for crystals. No, I don't have any crystals. No crystals for Michelle. Matching monsters. Do they match the tiles? I have one, two, three, uh, four, five. I have five. Okay, so I've got one. <laughs> Two, mm-hmm. three. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, there wasn't supposed to be anything in this dungeon. Oh, okay. So, what do I do with uh, this guy then? Uh, oh, yeah. It just goes off the board. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, where was I? Uh, go ahead and just start over. Okay, so that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five, okay. Uh, bands. This is where we go across, and the bands are going to be worth um, right there. Size of the band: two is two points, three is five, four is seven. You count horizontal and vertical. So I have a band here of four across, so that gets me um, seven points, and then I have a band of three here uh, that gets me five points, so that's twelve, and then going down. Oh, I have this one too, so that's another two. So 14 points. 14 points for me. For Tell bands. you, dude, that's how you play Scrabble too. <laughs> oh, man. Michelle beat me last night in this game, but I, I, I think I learned my lessons. <laughs> Plus, He's I had been a lot doing of help. homework. I, I had a lot of help with uh, <laughs> friends in chat. What about you? Are your bands? Oh, I got one band of zombies of three in a row. So that is um, five points. Oh, okay. wait, I got witches too. Yep. Two witches together. So that's another two. So that's seven points total. And that's all. Have any going uh, vertically, up and down? No? Let me double check. Uh, No. Okay. All right. So seven points. So uh, token points. I have 19, 27. Michelle has 12, 14. I, I crushed it there. Boss score. Your boss points. I get one point for each type of monster, each type. So I have one type. Two, three, four types, so I get four points. Wow. Yeah, what about your... Okay, so I score plus two for each dungeon on my map at the end of the game. So two, four, six. Six, okay. And the totals are going to be, let's see, I've got 14, 18, 78. Michelle's got 58, 64. There it is, folks. GG. <laughs> GG. <laughs> folks, y'all jinxed Michelle. You shouldn't have bet those challenge points on Michelle. That's all right. We're going to play after the stream is over. I'm going to uh, win. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> with no pressure. Michelle's going to crush me. Uh, but hey, this has been a fun game. This I like the advanced stuff in this. Um, yeah. Like you're saying, it gives it a little more. We played the basic version last night without the summoning and then without um, uh, with the smaller board. Which was fun, um, and I think the base game is perfect for like non gamers or like people who are new to gaming. Yeah, you know, a yeah, little easier sure. to explain. Um, but with the advanced stuff, gamers and people who are um, played a lot more games, I think you'll you'll appreciate this. I just I think it's just a, a solid game. Um, it falls in my wheelhouse of very simple rules, but there's enough like chunkiness, like brain not brain burning, but um, enough depth. Uh, that gamers, uh, people who regularly game, will enjoy this, and you know it's a it's actually a, a really quick game too. I mean, you're just drafting stuff, and you know one pair, and then placing it. And there you go. Um, let me turn off this. Who we got going? What's going on over here? Uh, are we wait? If you're holding back to screw your stream friends, then you got to display them too. <laughs> Slapfish. <laughs> Uh, Plumpy Thimble bet 2,000 points. Wow. 2,200 points. Plumpy Thimble is the winner tonight, obviously. <laughs> Friends, we want to thank uh, Johnny and the whole crew over there at Brother Wise Games for sponsoring tonight's uh, stream. We've had a great time. Thank you all for hanging out. We really appreciate you spending part of your day with us here. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night. Michelle and I, we may not actually play a game tomorrow night. What are we going to do? Michelle got her latest shipment of... 
Global Delicious. Global Delicious, also known as Universal <laughs> Yums. So we're going to open up our stream snacks, uh, and literally a box of stream snacks tomorrow, in our quest to find the ultimate gaming snack, game night snack. Uh, we're going to also also open up some uh, games that we just recently got. I got Red Rising uh, today. Also got uh, Chai for uh, Tea for Two. Um, also, I think the expansion to uh, uh, Ecos First Continent and another expansion for another game. So we're going to open the games. We're also going to open up snacks. Hope you can join us tomorrow. Same time, same channel, 7 p.m. Shout out to Brother Wise Games for the copy of Overboss and for sponsoring tonight's stream. We've had a lot of fun. Let's find someone to raid, shall we? Uh, please stick around for the raid. Michelle, anything before we get out of here? Um, well, Slackfish is asking, oh, is this the Spain pack? You know, I don't know. I try not to, like, get too excited about it, especially yeah. if we're going to open it on stream. Yeah. So... I guess. <laughs> yeah, we're going we're gonna to find out. So <laughs> tomorrow, folks, hope to see you again. Thank you again for your support. Thank you, Slackfish, Amanda Panda, all the regulars. Much appreciated. Ma ah! er, Monique is in the house. Monique, we're about to raid someone. Thank you for joining us. Um, let's find someone to raid. And, oh, Slackfish has, uh, kids got Spain this month. Yeah, I think th they're the same. Okay, nice. Uh, oh, you want to say hello to Monique, she says. Yes, thank you for being a friend. Okay, okay. So, so I went to. I didn't tell you this. Oh. So, um, I went to go visit um our goddaughter, um, because I had to go pick up something from her her mama, and you know she had stuff playing in the background, and and Golden Girls came on. <laughs> Perfect. And I was like, wait, we all must stop and sing. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's I love it. Uh, thanks for joining us, Monique. Friends, have a great night. We're going to raid. Uh, let's raid Brambeard. We haven't raided them for a while. So the raid is starting. Stick around for the raid. Please join us on the raid as we raid on off into the sunset. And um, I think we're going to play another game of, uh, of Overboss so Michelle can get her revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you later, folks. See you later. Bye, Bye now.